Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome back guys. My name is Justin. Thank you for stopping by and hanging out with me today. This is The Dead Couch. This is my collecting channel. I also have a main channel, Movie Watch Daily, where I post movie reviews, news, rankings, all that good stuff. I will link my current videos down below. But today, I have some really, really cool things that I'm gonna be showing off today. I have some Blu-rays, uh, something special from Unita Candles, our boy, uh, good old CHH. I have some Fangoria magazines and a couple of bigger items that I'll have to show you that I can't hold up. They're, they're too big. Um, so let's go ahead and knock out what I have on the table over here. And first up uh, is the limited edition CHH Mega Grape. Uh, you guys all know and love good old CHH over there at Planet CHH, previously Christian Hannah Horror. Um, and he, uh, him and his wife have their company, Unita Candles. They put out wax melts, big candles. They're all horror and movie themed. This grape is amazing. I think it was limited to six. He often does these really limited runs. And I gotta say, man, they, they really know what they're doing, putting together these scents and putting together these packages for horror and movie fans. Uh, the scents, they smell so good. Uh, in the other room, I'm burning the Return of the Living Dead 3 wax melt. I have a Hellraiser wa wax melt that also smells amazing. So I'll link their website down below. Be sure to follow them on Instagram. They're always posting their new drops. And guys, they, they're they uh, they starting to sell out quicker and quicker. He had a street trash wax melt that I really wanted to get. It sold out in six minutes. So uh, cheers to those guys for killing it right now with Unita Candles. Uh, next up, I just picked this up after seeing Dead Pit post about this on Instagram. Instagram, uh, I had to pick it up. I actually have never seen this one. Uh, this is the 2011 Thing remake prequel that they did. Um, I've heard mixed things. I've heard that it's a good movie, but the common complaint is that the CGI uh, that took over, took in place of the practical gore effects sort of took away from the movie. So I'm curious to see this for myself. I love Mary Elizabeth Winstead. I think she's great, uh, but this is a really cool steel book with the vinyl slip cover that slips off. The steel book is really, really pretty. Um, it, it looks amazing. Kind of a callback to the original cover there on the steel book with the fire and ice. It looks so, so cool. I just, I love the trend of these studios uh, catering to collectors. There was a small issue. I don't know if you can see this on here. You kind of can, let me get my face out of it. The slip case is slightly damaged, which kind of bums me out, but the steel book more than makes up for it. Um, and it's just, it looks so, so great. Let me get my face out of it. Um, can I get it to focus? Jesus. Anyway, I can't get it to focus, but um, anyway, great release from Mill Creek. This is the same release that came out a few years ago. I think it was 2018 or 2019. They just kind of repackaged it, but it's a great looking release. Uh, next up is Serpico from Kino Lorber. This is a blind buy. I've never seen this movie. This is one of the movies where um, a performance from a movie or a star of a movie, kind of that, that reputation precedes the film, which is I just know about Serpico being referenced in so many movies, Always Sunny and a bunch of other stuff. Um, uh, Al Pacino's performance is, uh, I know, iconic in this film, but I've never seen it. So I was really cool. I was really cool. I was really cool for picking this up. I was really happy uh, that I was able to snag this with the slip cover and uh, get the new 4K restoration. So I'm gonna watch this. I'll let you guys know what I think. What do you guys think of Serpico? I know it's a classic. I've just never seen it. So um, I love Dog Day Afternoon. I love Scarface. I love all of, uh, Al Pacino is just a fucking legend. What are you gonna say about Al Pacino? But I know this is one of his like signature roles. So I'm pretty excited to check this one out. And finally, the FOMO got to me and I couldn't hold off from picking up the House of a Thousand Corpses uh, limited box set. This isn't a 4K, um, which is unfortunate because I don't think we're gonna get another release for this movie that is this amazing and this beautiful. Um, it opens up kind of like a VSU, a Vinegar Syndrome U uh, release with the cardboard box. There's art everywhere. There's art inside and out. Um, you get really cool art in there. This is a hard uh, cardboard box that it comes in. You get a booklet in there with a bunch of really cool high, high quality color images that looks awesome. You get a mini poster, which is cool. It's kind of a cartoon thing. You get some art cards, which they always, they always include in these kind of editions. Um, and then you get the movie itself just in a regular uh, Blu-ray case and the digital code. So I have not watched this. I, I, haven't watched, I haven't watched this copy yet, but I have seen the other Blu-ray restorations and the Blu-ray, uh, to me, I was talking to Garrett about this. It, the Blu-ray looks amazing. It always has. The restoration looks so clear. And I don't think if this gets a 4K release, I say this now, but I don't think I'll be picking up another version of this. I think the only version, the only way that I'll pick up any more House of a Thousand Corpses or Devil's Rejects is if uh, they put out the trilogy in a box set 4K. Otherwise, I don't see myself buying it again. I 
fucking hated Three From Hell. I just did not like that movie at all, so I don't need to purchase a standalone version of that. I just didn't care for the movie. And I, and I think, say what you will about Rob, I don't think uh, the shortcomings of Three From Hell is necessarily 100% his fault. I think uh, the when Sid Haig died and he had to rethink what the whole movie was going to be, I think that really just threw a wrench in the whole movie. Um, because he was supposed to be a main star and he was only able to shoot for like a day or two and they kind of confined him to one scene, which was a real bummer. Next up, Fangoria magazines. I'm a huge Fangoria fan. I have a bunch of back catalogs and I love the new magazines too. It's gone its second or third year. Maybe it's the third year for the volume two. But recently in the past few months, they started doing something very clever because they know us collectors are fucking crazy when it comes to being completists and they release a retail, I'm not sure which one was which, but a retail uh, subscriber version and a retail cover. So every month, it's actually quarterly. So every four months, you get two covers to choose from. It's the same contents inside the magazine, same same edition, but they have two co covers. So you get a cover variant. And of course I have to have them both because I'm crazy. And I, I love the covers. We got the Evil Dead, Evil Dead Rise cover, um, which is really cool. And then it's so hard to get focus on here with my face in it. So you have the Evil Dead Rise cover, and then you have the uh, the Renfield cover, which is, is cool. It's got the blood and guts on there. So um, I love that. And now, We'll talk about the other things that I got, and I recently picked up uh, these two posters from Hero Complex Gallery. They have tons of really amazing, high-quality screen print posters, and I picked up this pair of Kill Bill 1 and Kill Bill 2 um, in a mashup poster. So uh, in Kill Bill Volume 1, you have the classic Nightmare on Elm Street image. Uh, it's just absolutely, it's just so beautiful. And then for the second movie, you have the Evil Dead mashup, uh, which you have uh, Uma Thurman coming out of the grave, just like in the movie and of course just like the classic Evil Dead poster these these are uh, the the quality of these prints are just so fucking gorgeous they're 24 by 36 so they're a standard poster size so you can uh, easily find posters uh uh, frames for these, which can be an issue with some one sheets where that run before 1990, 27 by 40, uh, and after 1990, 27 by 41. Those can be tricky to find frames for. There, you can find them. They're just hella expensive. So really happy that I managed to get a hold of these. They're limited to 150 a piece. Me and Garrett uh, both snagged uh, one of these each. And then finally, Finally, I just posted standalone videos for each of these. Uh, the first one being the Terminator 2 arcade one-up arcade machine. This thing is so badass. Uh, the screen, the marquee, uh, the art on the side, it's just, oh, it's so classic. I love it so, so much. I was able to snag this on a really deep discount. I think it normally retails for $6.99. I noticed it is on sale right now for $4.99, but when I bought it, it was $299. This was a beginning of the year sale. It may have been a Black Friday sale that was running, and I picked it up from Best Buy for $2.99. So, freaking steal on this. I really want to get Mortal Kombat, and uh, there's a couple other ones I want to get. Killer Instinct, Turtles in Time. I could fill an entire room with these arcade machines if I had a million dollars, but I don't. So I picked up that, and I also just got the uh, Pure Arts Deluxe T1000 Art Mask. This thing is, it's its stunning. It's beautiful, guys. Right now, this still is available. Uh, it's running, depending on which site you go to, it'll run from $4.99 to $5.99. Uh, this is the Deluxe Edition. They also have a version that's all chrome. It's all liquid metal. I opted for the more realistic one. I thought it was a little, had a little bit more dynamic look to it, but it's absolutely, it's beautiful. It's beautiful. I set it on top of my arcade machine next to my uh, T800 Endoskeleton. Uh, battle worn mask, um, which I also did a standalone video for. I'll link all these videos down below, all related videos, but that's pretty much all I've picked up recently. So some really cool stuff. I always love talking about all my nerdy shit on this channel. So if you dig collecting content, physical media, collectibles, posters, all that stuff, this is a channel for you. Be sure and hit that subscribe button. My other channel, Movie Watch Daily, for uh, more current movie reviews, rankings, news, and all that stuff. But guys, I think we're done here. Stay weird. Remember to always be yourself, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.